succession planning mistake number seven, the failure of the business owner to make sure the business can continue its current level of profitability if the owner dies or becomes disabled. The problem I see here is, is that typically the whole business evolves around the business owner. And if the business owner becomes sick, car accident, dies suddenly, the business is in turmoil and lost. So I feel that you can review your organization chart. That's one of the things we talk about in here. And you could put it into place which people are going to be responsible for moving in which direction to take over different roles if something happens to one of your key people. And it isn't just the president of the company. It can be other key people. That you identify your key people, and that's important so that the business is okay and the business can get through an untimely death or disability of a key person by having a plan in place. Planning is the key. Communication is the key. And so I think that you can also anticipate the problems that you may have. You know your people. You know their strengths. You know your weaknesses. And I learned that a long time ago. Managing my business, my job is not to develop and train my people so they become this perfect worker. As a manager of a company, a manager of a business, my role is to identify where people's strengths and weaknesses are and put them in a role to succeed in everything that they do. Being very careful that if they have weaknesses that I know how to back them up so they don't fall. They, they might need to be managed. So you try to put a process in place to make sure that when you're working with your key people that you're able to I, you know what they're gonna, where they would, would drop the ball. And so I can evaluate Kurt, Amy, Carrie, Kathy, and I know how they work. My job is to make them successful in everything that they do. It's a win-win. I should add that, too. That's something that I, I haven't commented on. I believe in win-win in, in life, no matter what aspect of the life, whether it's your employees, your customers, you know, it has to be a win-win. That should be your focus. And if you do that, I think you're going to be doing well the rest of, you know, your career, whatever you're doing.